Yeah, everyone's familiar with the name Frank Sinatra. That's a given. But there's this unsung hero in the shadows, his cousin, the guy's unfairly overlooked, not getting the recognition he deserves as the true originator of the punk music genre. Ladies and gentlemen, the saga of the chaos pioneer, the punk visionary. This is the story of Punk Sinatra. Yes, we were Frank Sinatra's cousins, and of course, Punky had artistic intentions, and our parents wanted Punky to be more like Frankie, singing nice pop tunes. But Punky wasn't having it. He started banging out these gnarly, distorted chords and screeching nonsense lyrics like short songs. I really didn't understand them. Well, nobody did. The initial piece he performed for me was, Why Are You Still Listening?, Essentially, the composition was 10 seconds in duration with the lyrics mirroring the title. At the time, I recall processing the piece and internally questioning, what is this? The song lacked conventional structure and meaning, yet being enamored with him, I responded positively, noting it was a nice song. But, well, you know, quite difficult to understand. Well, it so happens that he arrived on one of our Wednesdays a day dedicated to various artists presenting their amusing and eccentric acts. He appeared with his guitar and amplifier in tow. I don't know, but I think uh, his amp just freaked out. It started making this squealing, fuzzed out sound. The audience hated it, but Punky thought it was brilliant. He tinkered with busting up the amps to get that broken tone. One day he came with the idea of recording a single of the song, uh, I think it was Why Are You Still Listening, and told me that his stage name was Punk. We used to call him Punky, because as a kid, he was very fond of pumpkins, and so the name Punky stuck. But, well, he dropped the Y, and it became Punk, and, yeah, that's how the term now associated with a musical style was born. Yep, so... He walked in with his guitar and amp, plugged in, and this raw, unique sound filled the room. I'm thinking, what, what is this sound? I mention the amp seems broken and offer others, but he looks at me and says, this is the sound of punk. I'm puzzled. Punk. What's he talking about? I hit record, and the rest is history. The single was born with a sound defining a new genre. So we had a hundred copies of the single, and it was time to get them out to the city's record stores. I asked if he was thinking of working with a distributor, and he just smiled. No, I'm going DIY, said. I'm there baffled, asking, what's that jive? And he lays it on me. DIY, Rachel, do it yourself. I will do it myself. Yeah, man, uh, the dude rolled up to my record shop, handing over like 10 copies of that single, you dig? Sold them all, thinking folks would get something in the vein of Frank, but it was a total buzz kill. People brought him back, laying on me that there's some defect like the tune cuts off, or it's got some bad vibes in the recording. Got every one of them back, except this one copy, snatched up by a Japanese cat who was cruising through and took that vinyl all the way back to Japan. Indeed, the single was paradoxically a smashing flop, purchased enthusiastically, only to be returned post-haste. However, in an unexpected turn of events, Punky received a call that would flip the script entirely. Word was, a Japanese radio jockey had jetted back with the vinyl snug in his suitcase. Upon spinning the disc on the radio waves, the phone lines were ablaze with intrigued listeners. Inquiries flooded in, 
with folks desperate to get the skinny on this unprecedented sound. Much to our astonishment, the single was garnering a buzz, turning heads, and carving a niche of success across the Pacific in Japan. Uh, one day he strolled into the studio and casually mentioned, Hey, yo, the single didn't pop here, but it's a smash in Japan. I'm heading there, off to buy my ticket now. Well, I told him, we're going to feel your absence, man. And that's how he went off to Japan. Uh, 友達と一緒に空港に迎えになったら、彼とすぐに気が合ったんですよ。Yes, we go airport to pick him up, and when I see him, I fall in love first sight, and I think he too. We start dating, and since I also in art, I start advising him. そして、ユキは彼のアーティスティックキャリアを管理し始め Why are you still listening? の歌詞を日本語に教えて、私の自宅スタジオで録音しました。ユキは写真家でシングルのカバーとに彼女の写真を使いました。ダメだ、ダメだ。ダメだ、ダメだ。ダメだ、ダメだ。ダメだ、ダメだ。ダメだ、ダメだ。ダメだ、ダメだ。
When Punky sang, he unlocked cages, both mine and his listeners. That wild, screaming love is his real legacy. He showed me that there's beauty in distortion. He one time told me something I know forget. No follow system, make system follow you. Thank you.